Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the construction and operation of universal motor. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic, universal motor. The name itself, the universal motor, it can be operated on AC as well as DC. That's why it is called a universal motor. The important feature of this motor is high speed having mostly only two poles are there so the speed is more our speed is very high so the application where we need a high speed we can use this universal motor normally the swing machine vacuum cleaner food and drink mixer then the we are using this universal motor now we'll see the detail a universal motor is one which can operate on ac or dc supply at approximately same speed and output so we can operate on AC as well as DC supply. In that we got the same speed and output. So that is called a universal motor. Its construction is very similar to that of AC series motor. Armature and field is connected in series like a AC, a AC series motor. Now we will see the types of the universal motor. There are two types of universal motor available. One is concentrated pole non compensated type that is used for low power rating distributed field compensated type that can be used for high power rating now we'll see that what is mean by concentrated and non concentrated and distributed compensated we'll see the detail one by one first we'll see the non compensated universal motor cross section of non compensated universal motor so it is like a DC series motor or AC series motor. This is the armature. Brushes are there. This is a field winding. There are two poles available. This winding is available in the first pole. Then it goes to armature. Then go to the next pole. So it is a series motor. Field and armatures are connected in series. We can operate with either AC or DC. So armature winding, field winding. Now we will see what is mean by the compensated or non compensated type the non compensated motor has two salient pole and it is like a two pole dc motor salient pole so this salient means projected except that whole of its magnetic path is laminated right salient pole field windings are there then it is magnetic path is laminated armature is wound type and similar to dc motor armature is normal dc motor it is similar to the dc motor now we'll see the further detail it has a laminated core having straight or skewed slots and a commutator to which the leads of the armature winding is connected so it is a laminated core either skewed slot or straight is there and a commutator to which the armature winding is connected now we will see the another type so both the diagrams are available compensated and non compensated type non compensated type compensated type compensated type means the compensating winding is available in addition so in the non compensated type normal supply is given armature and main field these are connected in series rotating part and stationary part armature and main field winding connected in series here in addition we have compensating winding is available we will see why we are using the compensating winding and what is the purpose the distributed field compensated type motor has a stator core very similar to that of a split phase motor and a wound armature similar to that of DC motor right so the stator core having split phase split phase mean having two poles two phases in like in a uh, induction motor we have split phase is there because in single phase we cannot create the rotating magnetic field minimum we need two field two two windings are needed so that is splitted the winding is splitted and another condition is the current flowing through this splitted winding have the displacement approximately 90 degree then only the rotating magnetic field is produced so like that here also we have split phase motor we have main winding and compensating winding two windings are available now we'll see the working of this motor this motor develops unidirectional torque 
whether they are operate on DC or AC. Right? So unidirectional torque is produced for both AC as well as DC. It works on same principle as the DC motor. Now we will see the diagram. So this refer this diagram A. So this left hand side the N pole is created. Right hand side S pole is created. So this is during positive half cycle of the AC supply. When AC supply is given what happens? N pole will be created in left hand side. S pole will be created in right hand side. The current is flowing through N pole. Then armature. Then S pole. From left to right. While during the positive half cycle of the AC supply. This is the position. N pole and S pole. Similarly during negative half cycle what will happen? We will see the diagram B. This diagram B refers negative half cycle. Now left hand side S pole is created. Right hand side N pole is created. Current is flowing in reverse direction from right to left. Current start flowing from N pole then armature then it will goes to the S pole just opposite of the previous diagram. So this is the position of the current direction as well as the pole position during positive half cycle and negative half cycle of the AC supply. Now we will see the further detail. For DC supply if both field and armature current reverse at the same time unidirectional torque is produced. So if it is DC supply if you reverse the field winding and armature winding the direction will be reversed but we will get the unidirectional torque that is the advantage of this motor. Whether it is reversed or forwarded, always we are getting the unidirectional torque. Now we will see what happened in the AC, what we discussed in the diagram. Similarly, for an AC supply in positive half cycle, that diagram A, left side is N pole and right side is S pole. Armature current flow from N pole to S pole. What we discussed in the diagram A, the description is given. Similarly, negative half cycle, what will happen during the negative half cycle? In negative half cycle diagram B, field polarity is automatically interchanged. So the direction of current also interchanged. That is the left hand side S pole, right hand side N pole. The current flow from N pole to S pole. Right. The torque is directly proportional to pi into IA. We know that series motor it is proportional to flux as well as IA because field and armature are connected in series. Suppose if pi is re reversed, IA also reversed. So what will happen? T is directly proportional to minus pi into minus A. So negative available two times, so it becomes pi A. So that uh, what is the meaning? Therefore, torque is unidirectional for AC supply also. So with the DC supply, we are getting the unidirectional torque. For AC supply also, we are getting the unidirectional torque. Now we will see the speed torque characteristics of a universal motor. So in the speed torque characteristics is available here. We know that it is very similar to AC series motor or DC series motor. It is inversely proportional. Torque and speed is inversely proportional. X axis we have torque is available. Y axis speed is given. Right. So it is it is the it is inversely proportional and it is decreases in a parabolic manner. So in case of DC this is the characteristics. So it is not reaching the zero, speed is not reaching the zero value. In case of alternating current, it is keep on decreases. The speed is, the torque is keep on decreases and reaches the, this maximum value at the time, the speed is zero. Right? But in the DC current, the speed and torque both are available. This particular value is available, it is not reaching the zero value. That is the difference between this alternating current and DC direct current. The speed of a universal motor varies like a DC series motor. Low at full load and high at no load speed. Right. So it is about 2000, 20,000 rpm in cases. In fact on no load the speed is limited only by its own friction and vintage load. Right. During no load also it is rotating in a high speed. Right, so this characteristics is very similar, inversely proportional, but we have the difference in DC and AC. Right, the speed here, some speed is available in case of DC. In case of AC, the speed is zero, and uh, the torque 
the while uh, the speed decreases slowly and the torque is increases also slowly right it is inversely proportional the above diagram shows typical torque characteristics of a universal motor both for dc and ac supply inversely gear trains are used to reduce the actual load speed to proper value right so further we can use the gear system to control the speed from the actual speed to the proper value according to the application we can use the gear trains then applications what are the applications of this universal motor universal motors are used in vacuum cleaners where we need a high speed where the actual speed is the load speed and other application where the motor is reduced by the gear trains or drink and food mixer so here we are using the full load actual speed and load speed is equal here using the gear train the read speed is reduces and we are using in drink and food mixer portable drill domestic swing machine etc these are all the applications now we will see the reversal of rotation how to reverse the speed of the universal motor in case of both ac as well as dc the reversal the concentrated type and non concentrated type whether ac or dc same thing in concentrated type or salient pole type the universal motor may be reversed by reversing the flow of current through either armature or field winding so this is a normal procedure either armature or field winding if you reverse the speed will be reversed this is a the usual method is interchange the leads of the brush holders right the brush holder leads are interchange so that the speed will be reversed this is a normal procedure in case of distributed field compensated type universal motor may be reversed by interchanging either armature or field leads and shifting the brushes against the direction of the in which the motor will rota rotates so in previous case this interchanging the brush holder now shifting here also shifting the brushes same thing is very similar to the previous case the extent of brush shifting usually amount to the several commutator bars commutator using commutator bar the brush shifting will be done so the reversal of motor in both concentrated and non concentrated type either armature or field windings are reversed so that can be done by interchanging the leads of the brush holder so in this video we discuss what is mean by universal motor what are the types are available what is the operating principle then followed by the speed car star characteristics application and speed of reversal subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening all the best for your examination